Hey guys, I just wanted to share a little video of some of the work I'm doing with Jackpot. Um, today I worked Jackpot on trying to do some road riding and when I went to do the groundwork he kind of tried to like drag me and he didn't get to because I kind of cut him off and made it so it would be really hard for him to but still I was like wanted to address it because he just has a habit of, you know, if he feels uncomfortable or if it's remotely inconvenient, he wants to, like, start setting back, running backwards, rear up. And so I wanted to address that in a situation where he can do all of that and he's still not going to get away. Um, this was after I had kind of done a couple laps. And honestly, he was super good for this session. Um, I'm definitely going to do more of these sessions though, because he just needs to have that habit fixed because he was allowed to just be a lazy little booger and allowed to drag people and be disrespectful. And, you know, he just, he's doing what he was taught was okay. And so you can't really blame him for it, but at the same time, you can't allow it to continue. So... He'll probably have quite a few high tie sessions and tying lessons over the next week because I'm tired of him fighting me every step of the way. Um, every time I ask for something, he resists me. It's kind of like a little kid. Uh, every time you say, hey, could you go do this? And they stomp their foot, roll their eyes and say, fine. Um, I... If they do it, like, okay, that's good, but now we're trying to address the behavior and the attitude and the posture where it's like, okay, now you can say yes without the attitude. So he's getting pretty good about being obedient physically in the direction and in the speed, but his, his posture and his heart, his attitude is like the snotty kid that stomps his foot, rolls his eyes, and says, fine. So we're trying to address that. Um, like I said, in this video, he actually did really good. Um, it's been pretty muddy, so it's a little, little hard to move. So I ended up taking a water trough over and turning it upside down. So I had something dry to stand on, and that helped a lot. Um... But yeah, he actually did a really good job. I think in this video, he only had one spot where he kind of set back. And even then, he came out of it super quickly. So the first time I did this, he set back probably four times on each side. And I mean set back. Like he thought he was going to do something. And then he'd, you know, rear up and hop out of it. Um... And in this one, so there I'm like purposefully trying to like be pretty loud because I'm essentially trying to spook him just a little bit so I can see if he feels the line, is he going to challenge it because he's scared or is he going to come off of it? So there he had a little come apart because he was like, nope, it was too much. And um, he came off of it pretty quick. Also, me trying to not get clocked in the head by my rope. Um, but yeah, he did really good, and he had only that one little setback on video, and he's gotten better every time. He just needs consistency, and for every, you know, every time he tries it, he needs it to not work every single time. And then after a while, he'll just stop trying to pull. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and, uh, Hope this helps and I'll see you on the next one.